I like your wording there, kicking it back over to us because it was Lee Sin that was kicking it for SK Gaming. I mean, Sven Skaren single-handedly putting SK Gaming on his back and keeping them in the series. Absolutely. That's what big players do. It's a semi-final in the playoffs. If you're clutch and you're a big player, you just do what Sven Skaren does. Put your team on the back and just carry them home. Yeah, again, like I've been using the word a lot, but he's been a monster. Like when you have a star player like Sven Skaren, like uh, he's just been really been able to step up, and like he's the reason why they've won both of those games so far. Playing absolutely out of his mind, insanely good player. Yeah, constantly searching for picks, and as said before, he's not afraid of the Udir. If he finds the Udir early game in the jungle, he just kills him. The Udir has nothing to put against him besides the best lap, and that's not really doing that much damage. So he's just constantly invading, looking for opportunities, looking for picks, looking to help his lanes, and he's doing everything right. Yeah, uh, for me, for the side of UOL, it was kind of a blueprint of game two, where they got an early advantage, Lee Sin went absolutely ham, uh, and in game two, they, well, they picked a lot of fights that they shouldn't too fast. I think here they tried to calm down at least, but at this point the Lee Sin was, I guess, too far ahead. Well, no, the like, the, the, yeah, I agree. The Lee Sin was actually doing a really good job of babysitting the dual lane, because uh, in the 2v2, uh, it, it seemed like uh, Vardags and Hillisang were, you know, controlling the pace, but when they were looking for opportunities to go in and Hillisang would land a CC, it was uh, Sven Skaren right there to, you know, shut it down, saying, no, 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 if you guys are going to commit, you're going to die. He was there to turn the first, or not first blood, but one of the early kills into a one-for-one. One. Uh, just phenomenal play out of him. Yeah, and if you try to gank a forgiven lane, then you better do it right. <laughs> because he was constantly pushing them into their own turret, and if you want to gank that lane, you got to be a damn good jungler to make it work. And Swenskarin was just always there for the counter ganks. Whenever they tried to engage, he was there, being there for their dual lane, and then just getting them a hat. On the other side, Unicorns, Udia was doing a really great job. They had level 2 gank twice in a row. The first time it didn't succeed on bot lane. Second time, Freddy, no flash, easy kill. And then he just tried to be a factor in the games. But Sven Skarin, just too strong in this game, I guess. Yeah, and I can't help but think with one extra level of protection on Udir, he could have maybe made a difference. Yeah, I think he was missing a shield. I don't know. Uh, uh, not having the Morgana or the Oriana on the team uh, just makes the pick a bit worse. Uh, obviously, uh, when you're able to apply both shields into Udir, he can just run through and do anything he wants. And it was shown that game that he didn't quite have the power that he needed. Yeah, if you're an Udir and you're running into a team composition and you have that Oriana shield on you with the constant threat of the Shockwave coming in, that creates a whole lot of pressure. If you're just an Udia running into four with a Kogma spitting from behind, it's not that much pressure. So it definitely made a difference, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So looking at the last game, Game 5, Unicorns of Love are for the last time also on the red side. This time SK Gaming did decide to ban out the, the Morgana as an adaption together with the Cassiopeia and the Hecarim. Are we expecting that Morgana ban to come out again? Yeah, definitely. It's, Hillisan is just an MVP performer on that Morgana, and if you're SK Gaming, you want to take that away from him. Yeah, exactly like he said. Uh, the Morgana, the the Black Shields are on point. The the Bindings create opportunities not only in lane, but outside of lane as well for the team to follow up and find those opportunities to create plays outside of objective timers. And just taking him away from that, it increases your chances of winning. All right, and on the side of the Unicorns of Love, kind of counterintuitive that the games you won is because you took it slow, and here you also had to take it slow, which is not the way they like to play, but they have done it greatly. What do you think their game plan should be in Game 5? Because we've mentioned so much about the Gouda and the Cheese before we got into this series, but there has been absolutely nothing of that. I mean, this could be the game where we see it coming out. I mean, we know that they dare to do it. In the promotion tournament versus Millennium, there was a poppy in game three at the brink of defeat. Is there any team that's going to go crazy? It could be the Unicorns. Yeah. I mean, against Gambit Gaming, they close it out with the Shaco. It would just be fair if they do it this time. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I think what's, what it's going to come down to is uh, it's going to be important for them to make sure that they get on the right side of the jungle draft. Uh, I don't think it'll be good for Unicorns of Love if they put Sven Skirin on a champion that can out-duel Kikis, because uh, we've sh it's been shown so far in the series that when, S uh, when Sven Skirin, uh has a favorable matchup, he can just solo carry the game. Absolutely. Unicorns of Love are investing two bands into Forgiven. Forgiven... He does what he always do. He's a solid performer. He has a lot of farm. But do you really want two bans for him? He's warm on those champions now. He's warm on the Caitlyn. He's warm on Tristana. Maybe just leave those two champions open and ban some junglers instead. Take that Lee Sin away. 
I don't agree because I think that the the bottom lane matchup when they went two versus two because of Hillisang, it has been in the favor of the Unicorns of Love and not by a tremendous amount, but always enough. I think if you put Forgiven on a Graze or a Lucian, you are in for some trouble still, even in this game five. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to have to side with Shocks on this one because you were looking at the, the 2v2 and I'm saying like uh, the UOL bot lane is beating SK's bot lane in the 2v2. So just keep the bands the way they are. Keep the 2v2 going the way it is and then just make sure that you have the advantage in either the 1v1 duo out of the jungle or make sure that your draft composition wins the 3v3 yeah that's right but if you have the 2v2 win and you have a Sven scaring ganking for you seven times then it doesn't really matter if you took away the grave and dilution you got to do something about Sven scaring yeah, that's true. Point accepted. We'll see what they decide to go with. SK Gaming, they have climbed back to take this series to a game five. It all comes down to this. So don't touch that browser. We'll be right back. Oh my god, Pino, I haven't hit one for like 15 bananas. Oh. Hillisang's running him down. Summon a heal is up. One more rocket. Fardax has done it. Fardax and Hillisang have 2 v 2 and rated him forgiven. Now Fardax will go down to Sven Skaren as he's trying to save the day for SK. Can he land the Sonic Wave? I'm willing to bet that he can. He's got Flash available. He connects, follows in. We do not see the kill going out yet. Ignite is burning. Sven Skaren gets one. Hillisang the not heal. able to reply because forgiven heals him. Power of Evil's got no. Oh, that's a flash hook. Forgiven gets caught. He's Blade backwards. We do see the command protect. It is going to be Shockwave on Chachi alone. Rumble, there's a lot of support here. Coming. This is three versus three. Lantern comes out. Sven follows through. 6 0 2. Sven Skeren is unstoppable. Sven Skeren is going to allow Forgiven to drop down kickers. Now the rest of Unicorns are in full retreat. That's a flash stun from Iterated. And SK are running a map. Deficio, we are going to game five.